Yo to the people and what go on it's your boy James Creech and yo today guys I am playing some Battlefield 4 and I'm gonna play upon Pastor Star with me and my boy Young Rasa and Sonny T and yo we just locked on the boat and the whole game the entire game we're just in that boat just uh, you know just doing work and yo guys I'm just gonna bring you guys episode 3 of our you know my Jamaican stories because uh, you know while I was actually doing this uh, video here I just kept thinking about uh, how I actually learned how to swim back in Jamaica and uh, it's it's a fucked up way that I actually learned how to do it so uh, let me just dive right into it for you guys oh so first off I, I uh in jamaica i live about uh about a mile away mile at most away from the uh, from the from the ocean and i you know what everybody in my community where we actually live is either they're a carpenter or they're a fisherman and uh that's just how it was that's how it was when i was growing up i and uh, at the age of about uh, what would i say around six around six is when i actually learned how to swim and uh, one day my uncle told us you know his name was pedro yeah, he, yes, he has a Spanish name. His name was Pedro. So Pedro said, yo, come, I'm going to take you all, guys, all you guys to the beach. And, uh, you know, you guys can just go swimming and do what you want to do. So he took us. And uh, the, way, the way it's set up is on the, on the right side, there's a big old cliff over that side. And on the left side, you have the nice little sandy beach. You can go and you can just play in the sand and all of that stuff. And uh, he brought me over to the, the cliff. And I'm saying to myself, what is bringing you bring over to the cliff? And uh, he took me over to the cliff and then he just grabbed me. He was like, come here, boy. And he grabbed me. You know how you would be picking up like dirty clothes? He just grabbed me by my shirt and he lift me up and he just threw me out there. He's like, go swim. And he grabbed me and he just fling me off, off the cliff. And I, but in doing that, that's actually how I, at uh, point in time, I actually became scared of heights. But I'm not anymore. And uh, I will tell you guys about that. In a, maybe if I have time in this video, I'll share it with you guys. But uh, for the time being, I'll just leave that out for the time. So uh, he threw me off. And I, it was, a, you know, it was <laughs> fight or flight response because I fell in the water and, uh, yo, I don't know how, how my body, how my mind just came into it, but I, I started swimming. I started, it wasn't graceful or anything, anything like that, huh? but I, you know, I was swimming. I was swimming for my life and I was fell in there and I, I'm screaming, I'm screaming and all that stuff, but, uh, he was there. I, I guess. I guess he does it regularly because uh, he was just watching me. He wasn't uh, scared about me drowning or anything of that sort. And uh, he threw me. I would. I, I. I can't even judge. I can't even tell you guys the distance that he threw me. But uh, I, I swam back to shore and uh, I, I didn't even go near him. I didn't even go near him again. I, I just stayed by the sand and uh, he was just over there laughing. But but why you learn of a swim now and all of that stupid shit. So that's how actually you know those were the basis for me to actually learn how to swim. And then while I was in the sand. I, I actually just started, you know, doing some doggy paddles right there in the little shallows. And uh, that's that's how it actually came about me, you know, learning how to swim. And uh, from that day, I wanted to go to the beach every day. I wanted to go every day, but I hated that dude. I freaking hated him, and I was scared of him as well. He His face was always, you know, looking all grumpy and shit, looking he will fuck you up if you I say something wrong to him and uh, that kind of stuff, or whoop your ass, and I... Uh, Mm -mm, I couldn't deal with it. And uh, the other day, the, uh, a few weeks later, I should say, uh, we went back to the beach and I saw him there. I saw him there. And he chased me down and he grabbed me and he... I was little, I was little. So he chased me down and he grabbed me and he bring me up to the cliff again and he threw me off. I was like, I was like, oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> but uh, he threw me off yet again and I, you know, I just did my paddling thing again and I made it in. And uh, I told my parents about it this time around and they, they, they told him to stop doing it. So uh, that was the last time he actually threw me off. So that, that's it for you guys for how I actually learn how to swim. Some of you guys maybe learn how to swim by, you know, the old regular means where you go to the pool and all of that stuff. And your parents are, like holding you and you're ha, 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 cheering with you and say, swim, buddy. <laughs> all of that stuff, but uh, that's not how I learn how to swim. And I, to be honest with you guys, I, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. That, that's my experience. I, I greatly enjoyed my childhood, even though sometimes it was very, very difficult. I, I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. That, growing up in Jamaica, you know, it, it is awesome. That, that is all I can say. That is all I can say. There are so many days where I'm freaking hungry as hell. But uh, you know what, man? I can share this experience with so many people this time around and I just be happy about uh, my upbringing in Jamaica. I can't, um, I can't even express how, you know, it, it's a bittersweet feeling to be honest with you guys, but it's more along the sides of being sweet. So, yo guys, uh, looks like I have some, a little time to actually share with you guys about how I, you know, overcame my fear of heights. So, th there is this uh, river, I, when I actually moved to, uh, from Ocherias to St. Mary, there is this river, we call it uh, Ari Beach, and the way it's set up is... This is a big ass river. This big, 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 nice river. There's 
the thing about Jamaica is there's nothing in the water to actually harm you. The only thing that may be in there is some tiny ass little fishes that are, you know, be nibble on your toes. But uh, it just feels like they're tickling you. That's that's just about it. There's nothing there. So, you know, you, you go to the river and you just jump in there. You don't give a shit. And, uh, you know, I was there this one day and, uh, you know, all my boys were there. Everybody was there. So many girls were there. All kinds of people were there. And uh, we were all just interacting and stuff. And uh, there was this cliff there. And, uh everybody was like yo let's go jump off that cliff and i'm like hell to the no because <laughs> because uh, you know I'm, I'm scared of heights i'm like nah i'm not jump off of that a bum buckler i'm not do it so i'm there sitting there and i see everybody jumping off and all of that stuff and i'm like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna try it and uh this girl this girl gave me a deal she said i uh, you know if i did it you know what's gonna go down so i was like all right I got jump off of that. I got jump off of that right now. So I just, you know, made my way up to that cliff, and I there was this, uh, this about, uh, let's see, a 20 feet running distance in the back, and you just run in and you just hop off over the cliff, and uh, you know that that's it. It was, yo, know, it, it just as a, and I just hopped off at that moment in time, and when I jumped off. I was like, this is not so bad. I actually enjoy this. And I, I just, just started, you know, jumping off of it every little second. Every time I jumped in and fell in the water, I just swam back around and just go back up there and jump off again. And I, that's that's just it. That, yo, the growing up in Jamaica is so awesome, man. Yo, I... Yo, you guys, yeah, the video's gonna be coming to a close in a, in a couple seconds. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, yo, yo, boy, James Creechie out. I'll be sharing some more with you videos with you guys uh, tomorrow and further on. But I wasn't uh, active this week because I was... a. Uh, a bit occupied but uh next week i'll be uh more in tune with you guys thanks again for watching and uh, yo your boy james screechy out